motor that you have running the rig there. So, uh, so good to hear that. Uh, Bob, uh, W6AQU, uh, the tree situation, yeah, it's kind of funny. We, uh, we came out here at 6.30 in the morning. We got out here at 6.30 and it was still pitch black. There was a full moon that was behind us, so, um, you know, we could see the trees, but uh, shooting a slingshot up into a tree uh, with that amount of light wasn't going to work. So we, we kind of played grab ass for a while and uh, tried to tried to find a decent tree. And uh, I think the first one that we started with is a fir tree of some sort. And uh, it was too bushy and the branches were too small. I think the first shot I got off into the tree... We started pulling the line up, and it slipped off the branch because of the weight, and it was uh, it was just too flimsy. So yeah, the the trees around here they're they're kind of a, a interesting uh, bushy sort of pine tree, and uh, you know I'm lugging around a big car battery, so I had to I had to find a place where I could pull the car right off to the side of the road and find a, a suitable ca a tree candidate to to launch a wire up into, but we did manage to find a nice, uh, I don't know if it's a sugar pine or a ponderosa pine, but it's got some healthy branches, and we did finally get the antenna up in there, and we've got the ends, uh, one end of the V is uh, tied off into a tree, and the other end is uh, staked into the ground with a screwdriver, and uh, it's working quite nicely, so the only the only complaint I have today are the, uh, the local sidebanders that are interfering with some of you guys. So anyway, uh, gonna go ahead and keep it rolling here. We'll go back over to Chuck K0DWC and the group. This is N6MKC Portable.